Welcome to another week in Lotro. With all the best news from the Hobbit movies. All Lotro's latest news. News of Lotro's latest expansions and updates. Gameplay videos and leveling guides. And much, much more. This is another week in Lotro. Hello and welcome back to another week in Lotro. This is episode four. I know I well I've been really busy for the last week or so. It was my birthday last night, so I've only just gotten around to putting this out, so weekly schedules just missed it so I'm gonna sort of put all the news together there was literally for the whole time I haven't done one hardly any it's been very very quiet so this is probably gonna be quite a short video so first of all there was a new Rohan fly through video it looks really cool nice to see some proper open landscapes which is kind of something you haven't I haven't seen in an MMO before and I've played a lot of MMOs so I'm looking forward to that. It looks almost sandboxy, like the size of it. There's also two of the new soundtracks from uh, Riders of Rohan by Chance Thomas, Legacy and Shadow of Agnarath. So I'm going to be playing them in the background. Right, first piece of news. They've reduced the price for sort of the old expansion stuff. Not Moria, but they put down Isengard expansion by 30%. Expansion quest for Isengard by 38%, the instant cluster of Isengard by 13%, Dragnarok's Lair by 36%, and expansion quests in Mirkwood by 30%. So that yeah, there's some nice stuff. With the price reductions, you're still better off buying the like entire expansion packs because like each bit they like like to put a premium on each slice. So. Overall, the expansion pack as a whole is 18% cheaper, which is good. And it's nice to see Merkwood. I don't know why Moria hasn't gone down. It's a bit strange, maybe they feel that they shouldn't have to, seeing as they've just revamped part of it, I don't know. But it's still quite old content. Um, they're taking out the Legendary Edition on July the 9th of Rise of Isengard, and they're reducing the price by ten dollars for the heroic and the base edition so it's now going to be twenty nine ninety nine and nineteen ninety nine respectively uh... basically with the removing of the legendary edition if you wanna well if you're close i it's not there's not that much there you just get given so much cosmetic stuff it almost means that you have to buy more bank space so it's up to you if you like your cosmetics go for it the good stuff in it, you get a thousand turbine points, and you also get the Path of Fellowship quest packs, which is pretty, that's a really, really good quest pack. And you also get given Moria and Merkwood quest packs as a bonus, so that would sort of sort you out from Troll Shores, which is level 30. Yeah, but you'd still struggle. It's supposed to get you from 30, th no, 40 ish to up to Isengard, but. I wish you luck with that, getting through Troll Shores and Eregion. <laughs> uh, so yeah, as I said, it's July the 9th. Now, they've also brought out the Steed of the Burglar, which is really sick. It's around till July, July the 5th, as they like to do there. Put it shortly in the store and then people are more likely to buy it. It's 
1,995 turbine points, which is, that's a lot of turbine points, just for a mount. It looks quite nice. Uh, they've also put out some Riders of Rohan concept art, like Agarath and some of the new characters, like Eomir and stuff like that. So, that, that's cool. As I said, that's pretty much all the news for this week. With what I'm doing, I've managed to get up to level 41. I would have liked to have leveled up some more, but I've just been so busy over the last few weeks. Now that everyone's back from uni and all the exams are done, everyone's out all the time, so I haven't had much time to do do anything like this. I might, I think I'm going to put out a skirmish video today. Start my skirmish, stuff like that, so that should be cool. So yeah, just moved into the Misty Mountains. I'd say getting from like 40 to more is probably the worst bit of leveling in the entire game, like Misty Mountains and Angmar. Now the story, like the the movement in Angmar is good, like, but the questing and stuff, places like Misty Mountain is just atrocious and there's just not enough quests for the leveling, so I expect I'll be spending a lot of time in skirmishes. That's pretty much it. If you want to ask me something, send me some mail, so it's uh, a weekend at gmail.com or just show something in the comments. Hopefully there'll be something better to talk about next week, but we shall see. See you in a bit. Thank you.